What is up guys, Faded here and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I have the awesome and powerful ASUS G751 Republic of Gamers Extreme Gaming Laptop. Packed with some of the latest and greatest technology including a Maxwell GPU, the G751 steps up to the plate to lay waste to its competitors, but is it everything that it is cracked up to be? The model that I chose to go with was a G751JY and the exact model number will be down in the description. This model comes with an Intel i7-4710HQ, 24GB of RAM, a 1TB HDD, along with two 128GB SSDs in a RAID configuration, a 1920x1080 IPS panel, and most of all, the extremely powerful GTX 980M. So let's start with the design. This laptop is definitely some eye candy to look at. Modeled after the F22 Raptor, it puts off an intimidating image, letting those around you know that you are serious about your hardware. Vents on the rear make for a mouth-watering visual that no laptop I have ever seen has even come close to. Though it is ginormous, coming in at 17.3 inches for a whopping 8.4 pounds of pure performance. The sides consist of all your standard laptop connections like USB ports and the like, but nicely thrown in is an HDMI out so you can plug it up to a full performance gaming monitor. Also packed inside is a Blu-ray player which I'm sure you movie lovers will greatly appreciate. Now you also have speakers of course which create some pretty good sound but not something to be jumping off your feet about. It is a bit lacking in presence if you get what I mean, but maybe to help with that they did throw in a subwoofer but that in itself is largely unimpressive and it does make the sound feel a little bit one-sided. But before I do forget to mention, the bottom is awesome and is perfectly comfortable for long lap time gaming. Now in the middle of all this design is the flashy red backlit keyboard with some macro keys including a steam button and record button, which definitely helps to capture those epic moments in game. I for one am in love with the keyboard, it feels and it types like a keyboard that you would pay many many dollars for. Though the backlight could have been a bit brighter or at least a bit more distinction between the three brightness settings. Now the touchpad is great once you do realize that gestures are just completely useless and you do disable them, then you find a really good and responsive touchpad. One of the best that I've ever seen, some money was definitely put into this one. Now for the display, which is an IPS 1920x1080 panel with fantastic color accuracy, finally a gaming PC with great color reproduction, something that I myself have been really clamoring for. The colors really pop even under that matte screen finish. Also 75Hz is a nice yet modest boost from 60Hz. Definitely no complaints here though, everyone will love anything and everything that is displayed on this monitor. Now for performance, the 4710 HQ has been out for a while now and I have covered it before and it is definitely overkill for a gaming PC, but it does give you that freedom to render and edit videos or even live stream your gameplay if you do feel like it. 24 gigabytes of RAM, I mean my gosh, when will you ever use that in game? Most games barely use 8, but it will sure help in editing and it surely helped me. I rendered all my gameplay benchmarks video in under 1 minute. Check the link in the description if you'd like to see those. Now the SSDs have some really good speed. You can see here on screen what speeds I was actually getting, though I wish there were a bit more space. I filled up mine with simple benchmarks. Anyways, I know what you are all probably here for, and that is for how does this thing game. Let me tell you, I am jaw dropped by the GTX 980M's performance. I mean seriously. Desktop light performance and you can put it in your backpack. This thing takes on Laura Croft's extremely performance crushing Tress FX hair and laughs about it at fully maxed out settings. I mean, I for one am really impressed. I ran it through the usual benchmarks, but I don't think that they really do it justice, so I uploaded some gameplay videos, so do check them out if you do want to dive deeper into it. But it will handle all the latest games on at least high settings, and you can be sure of that. So all in all, it's time for my verdict on this beast. I mean, it is most certainly everything that it is cracked up to be, but your wallet is going to be empty for a while with a price tag of $2,300 at the time of writing, and some other 751 models even getting close to $3,000. It is definitely a chunk of money to drop on a computer, but I do think that this specific model is worth it. You could even go with the cheaper model because the selling point here is the GTX 980M. And if an IPS panel is not something that is important to you, then there are many other options that may better fit your budget. But in the end, I think this is a fantastic gaming PC, and many people enjoy countless hours with this machine and won't regret that purchase. So anyways, those are my thoughts. Tell me if you agree in the comments below. If you think I'm an idiot, do write that too. But as always, be sure to like the video and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a good one.